Alright guys, what is going on? This is Drew Carrot, and today I am bringing you a quick peek for Cabal Online. I, uh, put out the, uh, character creation and, uh, well, first 12, technically, uh, minutes of, uh, this game, and, uh, it took me a while to come up with a quick peek, but, uh, I'm doing it now. And, uh, this game is, uh, originally from Korea. Um, it's a free-to-play 3D MMO RPG. Um, in America, it's uh, published by EST Soft, um, but it's developed by EST Soft Corp in Korea, South Korea. Now, uh, as I said, this game is free to play, but of course, it does have a cash shop which allows you to purchase uh, game enhancements and just in game items with real currency. Um, the story of Cabal Online is uh, there's a, it's this mythical world called Navarth, and uh, it was destroyed by an uh, entity known as the Cabal. Um, the, uh, out of the survivors, there were six uh, masters who rose up, uh, each wielding abilities known as uh, Force Power, and uh, these masters taught the people, and Navarth was rebuilt. Anyway, years later, the Cabal is uh, plotting to return to power, and the characters of the game are the people who were taught and uh, they must take the role of heroes to battle the Cabal Uprising. And uh, so uh, there is a bit of history for this game. It was uh, first released in Korea in uh, October 2005, and it wasn't released into North America until February 2008 by... Would you plan it? That can't be right. No. Uh, it's EST Soft. Um, now, uh, this game, uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's dungeons and, uh, lots of quests and grinding in this. Uh, you can band together as players with a maximum of six characters in the party. There are two servers, uh, Mercury and Venus. They cannot, uh, converse across servers, but, uh, they might be able to converse across channels, because in each server there's, like, I don't know, like 20 or 25, uh, channels per server, and, um, these are, like, incredibly packed um, like they have uh, there's a lot of servers and this is an incredibly popular game uh, there is uh, open PvP I believe uh, in certain channels but some channels have uh, PKing or player killing disabled uh, so you can't just go around and uh, killing stuff now uh, this uh, there's a lot of different worlds uh, you can only access three at the beginning but uh, you start to gain more places, and uh, the story starts to build the farther you get on in the story. Now, there are six characters in this game. The Warrior, the Blader, the Wizard, the Force Blader, the Force Shielder, and the Force Archer. Now, each of these different classes provide different strategies, uh, skills, and uh, weapons, and even starting locations um, to uh, bring out a diversity in the playing uh, playing for playing styles that you can do. Um, as you level up, there are three attributes or stats that you can increase. Uh, strength, intelligence, and dexterity. Now, you actually have to have a set amount of each in order to level to your next level, and it'll actually tell you what the specifications are. So you can either um, auto-set them or you can set them in yourself, but by the time you reach enough XP to level, you have to have that preset amount of stats, otherwise you cannot level until you reach those stats, which is uh, kind of a unique aspect. There's a lot of unique things about this game, like uh, the auto-combat system is actually uh, really, uh, it's um, it's noob-friendly, because if you like aren't really good at the whole button mashing thing, uh, it automatically attacks for you, and automatically you skills, and when you run low I'm not sure about low on health because I've never gotten low on health because I'm badass. Um, but if you get low on at least mana, it'll automatically regenerate if you have mana potions. So uh, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna give a short, uh, little brief um, description of the different classes. The warrior is your typical uh, melee sword user. They use force to brutally enhance their physical capabilities, so they're really good for just uh, smacking stuff in the face and uh, stabbing stuff. They're a DPS guy, their primary uh, stat or attribute is their strength, which increases their attack and resistances to uh, magic and physical attacks. The uh, blader is also a sword melee class, however, it's more of a fast one. Uh, it uses more dodging and accuracy as well as speed in their attacks. 
So they do more uh, dexterity and strength, kind of more of a balanced thing. Uh, they're usually more known for their damage and crit hit rate. So um, that's a pretty uh, fast DPS class, kind of like a rogue type thing. And uh, there's the uh, wizards, which is your basic um, magic user. They uh, they can. I'm not sure if they can heal actually. Um, they're mainly a DPS thing. Uh, their primary stat is intelligence, and I do not think that they can actually, uh, I don't think they can heal. Uh, they might be able to heal some, or just give some party buffs. Um, and they also have some nice AoE attacks for uh, when you're trying to just kill an area of uh, mobs. And they're also good for uh, controlling mass amounts of mobs because I think they might be able to CC or, or crowd control. And uh, next one is Force Archer which is basically your um, Archer class I think because um, they have uh, they do more uh, intelligence and dexterity but um, I'm actually not sure if they're really a uh, Archer class but they're sort of like a wizard but uh, they are uh, more of a high ranged uh, powerful singer party Ooh, these Force Archer and party healing skills. So, these, uh, the Force Archer, I guess, is kind of a healing thing, which is kind of interesting in a way, because uh, that's, uh, that's different. Uh, Force Shielder, that's more of your tank thing, uh, shield and uh, sword or any weapon. Typically not having a high uh, damage per second or DPS, but having high health, so their, more th their higher things are um, dexterity, strength, and uh, intelligence type thing, so they kind of they're balanced all through. Now a forest blader, they're more of like a magic swordsman, so um, they uh, sort of empower blade stuff, and uh, they use their mana stuff. So they have, uh, I think they're more of a dexterity and intelligence thing, which is uh, kind of uh, kind of interesting. Now um, there are different some. Um, sections for skills. There's your weapon skills, there's your magic skills, and then there's your aura skills, I think. Oh, I think there's like your general skills, which increase your your health and your uh, mana. And uh, some of them are different from class to class, but some of them are actually the same from class to class. So uh, that is uh, kind of an interesting thing. And uh, another, I don't, I'm not entirely sure what the uh, level class is, but I mean, the level uh, cap is, but uh, once a player reaches level 52 and uh, completed a quest for uh, choosing a nation, uh, you can uh, PvP on a uh, open battlefield type thing, which is uh, pretty interesting. It's kind of it's called a nation war, I think. Uh, it generally lasts one hour, kind of like uh, Winter Grasp, if any of you guys play WoW. And uh, there is, there has been announced that there will be a Cabal 2. Um, as far as I know, it is only going to be in South Korea, but I'm sure it will be coming to North America sometime in the future, whenever it gets finished developing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you all guys in the next one. So yeah, peace.